Dante and Otario Wasasuck, welcome to my second craft tutorial on my channel that I'll be doing with you. Today we'll be making ornaments that look like breastplates. So, these used to be a protective armor and also a decoration during ceremonies. In front of you, or in your bag, you'll have a kit full of everything you'll need. Yours will be just slightly different colors than mine, but it's all the same items. In it, there will be three of these separator pieces. You'll have eight bone beads and 16 colors. We're not going to be making a double pattern like we did with the bracelets, and it'll all be on one string as well. So, make sure your string is kind of cut to a point, because you're going to take the handle, which is going to be your leather, it's going to be a brighter leather with only two holes on each end, and you're going to go through the smooth side, pull it all the way through, down to the knot, make sure you have a knot at the end of your string, pull it all the way through to the bottom, then you will, oh, let me just rotate this here so you can see a little better. Then we will take our end piece and put it through the, one of the clear top ends or bottom ends on the nice side of the separators. After that, we'll pull it all the way through and then we'll start with the color, a bone bead, and then a color. Because our patterns only have three in it this time instead of five. One, two, three. And we pull that all the way down and we add the next separator. Same thing at the top or at the bottom. Doesn't matter which side. Then we repeat our pattern again. Now this is where our handle is going to attach after we put the separator on. So the separator we can put on either end. I would like to, I usually would put it on the rougher side first through, so that way the smooth side faces out. See, the smooth side will be outside, smooth side will be on the outside. Then we fold the handle up and over, and we'll push it through here on the rough side. Then we just repeat our pattern. And then we'll knot it off at the end. So, we'll double back again, just like how we did with the bracelets, if you did the bracelets before, through the, this hole below it, come back through, and then we do our pattern again. One, two, whoop. Guess that one didn't wanna go. And Three. And we'll push it through here. Hopefully the holes are cut big enough, or if they're not, you just gotta put, kinda make it into a point and twist it through. See? And then we just do this a few more times. So I'll put on my next three and continue. Once we get to here, we'll double back again. Almost done already. Pull it tight. And then again, our next three. Once those three are on, we'll go through the middle, second last hole. Next, you'll put on the sixth link. Same thing, next three. Push it through the second last one, and then we have just two more to go, and then we'll tie a knot, and we're all done. Now 
last one. Last one on the middle. And then our last three. Then we'll tie a knot off and we have completed it. Quick little ornament and you can actually add extra decorations to it later if you like to make it look a little bit more nicer. So as we pull this last one, we don't want it to be too tight. You can make it a little loose because we want it to kind of have a bit of a sink in the middle. So to make it too tight of a knot, we'll cut that off there. And that is all for our product. And there's our ornament.